Welcome back. Aljunid GRC will be a keen contest to watch once again. The incumbent Workers' Party will try to defend their crown jewel against the ruling People's Action Party, but this time without former party chief Lao Tia Kiang. An ongoing lawsuit against his town council that's also looming over Workers' Party's campaign in Aljunid. Afifa Arifin tells us more. It's the first and only GRC to fall to the opposition when the Workers' Party won Aljunid in 2011. But will the WP be able to fend off the PAP challenge? At the last polls, it barely held on to the five-member GRC by a thinner margin of less than 2%. If you ask me before December this year, my take would be uh, still it's a very safe Aljunid GRC under the Workers' Party. But COVID have changed many things because the mentality of the voter is in the crisis run to the ruling party. The Workers' Party will also enter this election without stalwarts Lao Dia Kiang and Chen Shao Mao who are stepping down. Together with new party chief Pritam Singh, chairman Sylvia Lim and Faisal Manap, the five were regarded as the WP's A-team in the last two elections. It's unclear who the PAP will field this time, but Mr. Murali Pillay, who was on the PAP's 2015 Aljunit team, moved to Bukebato after winning the by-election in 2016. Mr. Lau and Mr. Chen will be replaced by former NCMPs Gerald Kiam and Leon Pereira, who previously ran in East Coast GRC. Observers say the change of guard in WP could tempt the PAP to mount a stronger challenge in Aljunit. The big question is, if the PAP think that the new slate is no longer Workers' Party Team A, will they be tempted to send someone a bit stronger than the past? In other words, is it not just a question of a suicide, but probably wanting to take back, and by sending a stronger man, you will want to send a signal that, hey, we are serious about capturing a junior. Another hot topic in Aljunit, a civil lawsuit faced by the party's top leaders. In October last year, Mr. Lau, Mr. Singh and Ms. Lim were found to have breached their fiduciary duties towards the Aljunit Hogang Town Council. The WP trio are appealing the judgment. But analysts say this issue could sway votes. I think that the voters uh, will have been keeping track and they probably want to see how that pans out. We've got to see whether uh, over time uh, that issue uh, matters to voters vis-a-vis -vis the ongoing relationship that the Workers' Party politicians are developing on the ground. And that will be decided when some 151,000 Aljunit voters head to the polls on 10th July.